Howdy fellas, Mugman here, and welcome back to Mugman Plays Cuphead Expert Mode. So, last episode, yeah, got a little bit crazy. I mean, yeah, we did beat Jimmy the Great and Bon Bon, who was our special guest, but then we got to Grim Matchstick and, uh, it didn't go so well. But this episode, we're gonna fix that and beat Grim Matchstick once and for all. Uh, hopefully this time I don't lose my mind. Seriously, I'm really sorry about that little explosion I had there at the end. I didn't mean it, it just kind of happened. Uh, this is what happens with expert mode. It is seriously frustrating. But still, I am tough, I am strong, and I am going to beat this challenge. And hopefully after this I can take a break. Seriously, I've had enough with this devil stuff. I'd like to go relax on Inkwell 1 with Elder Kettle and Cuphead. Ah, uh, Tell me, do I deserve a break? Ugh, well, if only you could talk. Alright. So, remembering last episode's strategy, start off with Roundabout and just keep moving. That's the best way to handle this. Also, make sure to stay on the platforms, because if not, you're gonna fall! Okay, I'm just gonna shoot reverse. That's the best way to handle this. And watch out for the tail, because that tail will hurt. Okay, so as I just keep doing this, I should be alright. That tail, seriously, how big is that thing? Whoop, oh, uh, Probably should keep moving and not question how long Grim Matchstick's tail is. Okay, let's try that again. Calm. It's only the second attempt after all, so it's not too bad. It's when you get to attempts like 20, 30, maybe even 50, it starts to get annoying. Ugh, focus, Mugs, focus! Don't let yourself be distracted! Ugh, come on, keep it together, keep it together here. All right, whoa, all right, so far so good. Just taking it easy. Making it very easy. That was close. Okay, come on. Go to the second phase already. Woo! Okay. Start some fireballs. Okay. Now we switch to lob. Alright. And fire! Alright. So apparently, I read in the comments that the ones that have the smiles are usually the ones that bounce. So just keep that in mind, and I should be okay. Just a lot of them smile, so it's a little bit tricky. Okay, phase three. Now, I realize what screwed me up is that the fireballs actually shoot in a four-way spread. So when you hit it, it hits you. <sighs> but we're doing better than last episode, so that is a plus I am willing to accept. Okay, so just got to remember, roundabout for round one, then for rounds two and three, lobber. Stay on the clouds. Just make sure to watch out for the tail. And should be okay. Now, the difficult thing with this fight is parrying isn't really an option when you're trying to dodge a million things. Namely, the fireball and the tail. So, if you can parry, go for it. If not, uh, I'd say leave it. Case in point, right there. Tried to do it, and it didn't work. But, not giving up. I refuse to give up. Cause I'm Mighty Mug, and Mighty Mug doesn't quit, not by a long shot. All right, Lobber, here we go. Okay, just gotta keep on shooting. I'm gonna save the energy blast for phase three, so that way I can get some extra hits off and probably have a better chance at surviving this. All right, at least dodging in this phase isn't too hard, I was gonna say. And then I get hit by a tiny little jumping fireball. Uh, just my luck, right? All right, take a sip of this! Energy Blast! All right, just gotta not... Whoa! Almost bit the big one there. Whoa, whoa! And there! Whoa! That flamethrower is not good news! All right. Whoa, 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 whoa! Big lob shot! Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Oh, why did I not move? Uh, at least it wasn't at the end. I mean, it's close! But it's not right there. Uh, I got nervous. I choked. 
I shouldn't have. I should have kept moving. Ah. All right. Just gotta play it safe this time. If you need to move and dodge, then move and dodge. Move and dodge. Every time I try to say something witty, am I immediately presented with problems because I keep getting hit? Ooh. Close. Very close! Woo! Okay, I am definitely... Woo! I don't even know! I can't think of the words! Okay, just gotta focus! Focus! I'm really... I can't even speak because I'm too stressed about dodging! Okay, phase two! Okay, come on, Mugs, you can do this, you can do this! All right, here comes the marching parade of flames. Woo! Okay, just gotta keep on dodging. Keep on rolling. Ah, oh, it was a bad move. Woo! That was very close. All right, at the very least we're hitting phase three, so we're doing a lot better than we did last time. And fire! Get the cloud. Get the cloud. Oh, whoop, no! Come on! Ugh, right as it ended, it was right there, just... Ugh. Uh, this is not gonna be a failure episode, I promise! I don't wanna have failure in my freaking report card in this game. I can't speak very well, I'm too stressed. It's only been, like, six minutes! Uh, Alright. What I find fascinating about the fireballs that Grim Matchstick shoots is that they're solid. You can actually tell that there's like a rock attached to them, so they're actual like fireballs. But like, in most dragon mythologies, fireballs are usually just the flame. You know, there's actually something solid in there. Or at least that's what it looks like. I might just be overthinking it, but I'm trying to think of something to talk about other than me getting my butt hurt! Alright, phase two. Alright. And here comes the parade! You know, I gotta wonder how that hat doesn't catch on fire. I mean, it's literally on a walking fireball, so... How is it not burning up? More importantly, how is it not, like, causing a massive fire in the clouds? I mean, seriously, that thing must get hot! Alright, phase three. No time to... No time for distractions. Alright, just gotta keep moving. Whoa! Okay, definitely dodge that. Ugh. Worst part is it's all unpredictable. You never know where it's gonna come from! Good thing I landed. Alright, the flamethrower, which in all honesty isn't the hardest attack to dodge, but still, it's something to be wary of. TAKE A SIP OF THIS! Want YES! ALRIGHT! Oh, thank goodness! Ugh, on eight minutes later, and thank goodness that is over! Sorry, Grim. I know I said some mean things to you last episode, but it's not your fault. Ugh, it's the devil's fault, that jerk! Ugh, but we did it! We did it with a B! Oh, phew! That was a close call for comfort, if I do say so myself. Okay, so that leaves two bosses, I think. Let me check. Wait, nope, wrong button. Okay, so we've got Baroness Von Bonbon, Jimmy the Great, and Jim Grim Matchstick. Jim Matchstick? What the? Ugh, anyways. All that's left now is Wally Warbles and Beppy. All right. Just because I know he is going to be very annoying, we're going to take on Beppy first. But before we do that, let's change weapons a bit. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to stick with what I got. These weapons are really useful. Lava is actually surprisingly powerful. Like, yeah, it can only shoot it a little bit at a time, but the power it packs is amazing. This match will get yeah, there's that smug grin. Ugh, I'm really not looking forward to this fight! Whoa! Okay, so he starts off the charges a lot faster this time. Oh, just shows he's not messing around! Alright, ow! I forgot about the ducks. The ducks are something you need to be cautious about. Ugh, you have to make sure to shoot them, so that way you don't run into them. Oh, and there he goes! You know, it always freaked me out that he just fell off of the cart. At first, you think he's gonna hurt himself, but then you remember he's basically a living balloon, so... Actually, how does he even get hurt, is my question. I mean, he's literally just a living balloon, or a living clown, I don't know. Hmm. This doesn't feel right. This feels way too easy. I'm not trying to jinx myself or anything, but... 
patterns just seem really slow. Oh no, did I accidentally switch it to simple? Whoa! Maybe not. But still, it just feels way too easy. I might just be overthinking it a bit. Alright, that's phase two down. Now if I recall correctly, the next phase is... Yep, the horse. Take a sip of this! Alright, whoa! Okay, so that one, yeah, I remember. Yellow is when it, like, shoots down, and then the green one was... Oh, okay, yeah, now I see where it's getting a bit more difficult. Alright, but at the very least, I'm doing a lot better than I did with Grim Matchsticks. I'm thankful for that much, at least. Alright. But, oh, shoot! Ugh. Well, I'm doing better. I can say that much. Alright, this shouldn't be too hard, then, I don't think. Alright, Peppy, let's do this! Give me your best shot, I'm ready for ya! Ha! <laughs> I parried that! How'd that hurt me? Oh well. Alright. Why ducks? Like, with all the different carnival lexicon that you could use, why ducks? Maybe because that's the one thing I should have done is duck or dodge! Why am I not using the ghost dash? Why am I making these mistakes? Seriously, I beat the devil for goodness sake. I should remember this stuff. And I'm making a lot of rookie mistakes. This goes to show what happens when you don't play this game for a while. Ugh. But regardless, here goes. Whoop! There we go. Paired it properly this time. Huh. I think roundabout is stronger than lobber. Simply because... It has more projectile shot at a time. With Lobber, you notice, it shoots, like, not as periodically. So, yeah, I'm gonna stick to Roundabout for this fight, at least for now. Once Phase 3 comes back into play... Alright, there we go. Now Phase 3 is gonna come back, and it's gonna start yellow, and... FIRE! Yeah, as much as I like the Super Ghost, it's not really that useful in these boss fights. Alright, just stay under him. Don't even worry about the parry. Just stay under him and keep firing. Don't let it get the better of you. Alright, time for phase four, which is the big tent. Alright. At the very least, the nose is offering us parry opportunities, so it's not too bad, at least. He certainly likes to take the fall, doesn't he? Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, this is the creepiest part of the boss fight. When he turns into a giant, freaking, merry-go-round tent thing. Seriously, look at that face! Yeah, really look at it, because it got worse! Alright, now these guys just throw baseballs, so... Whoa, whoa! Okay, don't make the mistake. Just focus on jumping. Focus on jumping and shooting. Jump and shoot. Jump and shoot. And... FIRE! Come on, go down already! Whoa! Alright, don't fall to the bottom. Don't fall to the bottom. Watch out for the baseballs! Whoa! Whoa! No! Oh, come on! <sighs> no, it's not worth getting angry at. It wasn't, like, on the flag. See, I get mad when it's right on the flag. In this case, it's not. So, it's not worth me getting ranty over. But we're getting closer! I'm gonna make it two for two this episode, and maybe three for three if we're lucky. I still need to do the other two run and guns on the pacifist challenge, so... Gotta do that at some point. But first... Beppy is going down! I hope. I want to take this little sucker down, but, uh, with my luck, you never know with these things. Uh, I mean, shoot, I thought for sure I had freaking Grim Matchstick in the bag last episode, and we all know how that turned out! You know, if you could parry the dog, that'd be nice. But no. Instead of slapping the pink parry dog, you end up smacking yourself with it! Uh, all right, phase two down. Parry the nose and fire! Right. Okay, so at the very least, the whole freaking roller coaster thing is predictable. As long as, you know, I should probably get underneath the horse so that way when the horseshoes shoot out, it doesn't hurt me right away. All right. As I was saying, the roller coaster is at least predictable because you know it's going to come every couple of seconds. And as long as you don't hit the, um... Weird smiling puppets on the racetrack, or the railway, should be okay. Just gotta be very cautious of that. Like, you can see it in the background, too. So, it's at the very least predictable in some aspects. Alright, here come the penguins. And those penguins are really good at baseball. Ugh, at least they- WHAT'S IT?! 
Yeah, no, they're good at it. They're good at it. Ugh. All right. Not gonna lose my cool. I'm good. I'm good. All right. You know, how does that cart operate without a magnetism mechanism? Because those things are usually operated by, like, a pole that holds you in place, and it's, like, magnetized. So how the heck does that thing even work? Unless it's, like, remote controlled or something? Maybe? I don't know. These are the questions that flow through my head as I'm fighting these bosses. Like, for instance, how in the world does that dog have sentience? Right? Cartoon. Don't question it. Ugh. But I have to question it, though. It's the world I live in. Like, seriously. A lot of this stuff doesn't make sense. Well, then again, cartoons never make sense, so... Eh. You take what you can get. And you can take a sip of this. All right? Uh, yeah, no, I was kind of stuck on that one because the cart was kind of moving. So there was no way I was dodging that. I tried, but it did not work out the way I wanted. All right, final phase. Can I do it? I hope so. But like I said, Mighty Mugs does not give up. All right, come on, big tent. Uh, I wonder how Beppy can have all these transformations anyway. Like, seriously, where does he keep them all? I mean, if he is the carnival, then that makes sense, but... Does he, like, transfer his soul out of every single form he's in? Or is it, like, something else? Because that is seriously something I want answered. Alright, come on. Gotta focus, gotta focus. Come on. I take this guy down this time. Alright. And... FIRE! Wait, what?! Oh, come on! Really?! Right as I get out of the animation does the ball launch! That is such bull pucky! Ah! Alright. Not gonna curse this episode. I am not gonna curse! Especially since it's only like, what, 17 minutes in? No thanks. It's way too early for me to start losing my mind. Thank you very much. Alright. Ugh! Bon Bon, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry for getting all mad last episode. I hope those Swedish fish helped. All right. All right, here he is. Balloon Beppy. Well, then again, he's pretty much just a balloon anyway, so yeah. Ugh. How in the world is he, like, supplying the air for these dogs, or... How does all this even work? Like, I get he fell into it, but, like, what else is there? How does he function? Does he even eat? How? Like, does he eat cotton candy or something? I really, really don't know. <sighs> Alright. He really wants to stick to yellow this round. Uh, as long as I can beat this guy, that's all that matters, right? Alright. Alright, final phase again, everyone. Let's see if I can do it. So are those, like, puppets that are on the roller coaster? Or are they just, like, you know, actual people? And if they are actual people, why do they have such creepy smiles? Seriously, that's something that needs to be addressed. Then again, this whole game needs to be addressed. We need answers! Alright, here come the baseball penguins. Whoa! Feel bad for Beppy. He goes all cross-eyed when he spits them out. But then again, he is spitting out full-sized penguins, so... That makes sense! Okay, come on, Mugs. Don't lose sight of what you're doing. Stay focused. Alright, gonna do it right this time. And... Fire! Come on. Yes! All right! And Beppy is toast! And I got run over there at the end! <laughs> oh, thank goodness that after you beat the boss, you don't take damage, because so that would have been upsetting! <laughs> uh, but at least we did it! Uh, with an A-2, minus so not too shabby, I would say. All right, so that's two bosses down, and with that, there's only Wally Warbles left. Ugh, oh, that boss gave me something in the first Let's Play, I'll say that much. I think I'm gonna try one of the running guns first. All right, let's see. Where's the first one? Ah, here we go. Funfair Fever. Ah, let's give it a shot. All right. So I wonder how we're gonna pull this off. It's gonna be very tricky, cause if I recall correctly, there's one that has- Oh, this is the other one. Alright, so how am I gonna do this? 
I've got to make sure not to shoot anything, but I feel like there's a boss or a mini boss. Wait, what's this? Oh! Oh, I can charge up on that balloon? Nice! I could help if... Wait. Oh, I screwed up. Hold on. We gotta leave. I forgot to equip, um, oh, what was it? The invincibility, because I think that's gonna help the most when it comes to doing these. So, let me just switch that real quick. Hmm, smoke bomb is useful, so I'm gonna stick to that. All right, now we can go in there, no problem. I hope. I say that, and then I get my butt handed to me, so, uh, we'll see. But I am going to charge up on that balloon, because that is seriously going to be useful. Hmm. Blue. There we go. One, two, three. Three, four, five. All right, now we're good to go. All right. Whoop. All right. Just got to keep on moving. That is one really happy trampoline. I mean, look how much it's dancing. All right. Whoop. Again, the thing that makes this difficult is the fact you can't shoot. If you could shoot, this would be easy. But, since you're trying to be a pacifist, shooting is a no-go. Alright, now, how do I... Oh, this is where I have to use INVINCIBILITY! Alright, just gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move! And past the cans we go! Alright! Alright, I see a balloon, but are there any others? No, it doesn't look like it. Whoa! Okay, that was close. All right, you. How do I get past you? I think I have to take a hit. Oh, shoot. Ugh! Shoot! Yeah, I kind of predicted that. All right, now I just gotta keep my dodge game up, 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 up! Okay, we're nearing the end, so that's at least the positive in this situation! Oh, boy. I gotta make some really tough jumps here! Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Whoa! And jump! Whoa! Almost killed by ketchup! Alright, now I gotta get past this salty dog! No! Oh, come on! Ugh! Okay, so I need at least two hit points to sacrifice? Oh, that's cruel! Okay, uh... Let me go back and re-edit my weapons here, so that way we can have an easier time at this. Okay, so in this case, we'll need Twin Heart. Oh, that is going to make dodging really difficult. Okay, so no ghost dash. Got to keep that in mind. All right. I got five extra... I got five hit points now, but no ghost dash. So I have to be very careful with how I dodge. Got to keep in mind I can't go through enemies anymore. So once I get my hit points taken away, that's it. I'll be very careful this time. But I can do this. I believe in myself. Even if I have a really big nose, I still believe in myself. <laughs> you know what? My nose ain't that bad in retrospect. I mean, yeah, it's a little big, but you know what? I like it. So yeah, all your nasty comments about my nose, it doesn't matter. <laughs> all right. Now let's just take care of all this and invincibility. Let's do this. Go, 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 go. All right. With enough time to spare. Oh! One, two, three, four, up, five! Alright! Now we can use invincibility again! Which, actually, that might be useful. Okay, so I either use it here or at the hot dog. You know what? I'm gonna use it here. Because in all honesty, I cannot afford to take another hit like that. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, shoot, I just remembered I can't dodge these guys normally. Oh, darn it! Ah, the relish! It was a relish! Ugh. I really have to be careful with how much damage I take. Because I have to take damage in order to do this. Ah, oh, boy. This is really going to be stressful. Uh, shoot! Woo! Close! Ow! Darn it, trampoline! Oh, can I still salvage this? I'm going to try. At the very least, I'm going to try. Let go! Alright, go! Whoa! Okay, doing good, doing good. So far so good. Whoa! Close! Alright. If I don't do this in a few tries, I'm gonna move on to Wally Warbles, so that way I can at least try to fight the next boss and win. And invincibility! Let's do this! Alright, got a dash, got a dash, got a dash, and we're done! Alright, blue balloon. Oh well, wasn't pink, so what can you do? 
All right, magician shoots his thing. That's some creepy eyes there, wizard. All right, and oh, I hate to do that. Hmm. Maybe I don't need all the extra hearts. Whoa. Okay, so I can at least go under them, but I gotta make sure that no projectiles coming at me when I do. Otherwise, that's gonna happen. That was close. Whoa, and so was that. Whoop! Oh, but wait, I don't have enough hit points. God darn it! Ugh, I'm not gonna be able to get past you now. Shoot. Ugh, well, there went that. Ugh. Let's try it again. All right, I'm gonna try three more times at this. If I don't get it by then, then I'm moving on. I can do this, though. One, two, three. Uh, get back here! Three! Four, five! Oh! Took too many hits. Uh, let's try that again. I can't take too many hits, otherwise this isn't gonna work. I think. This is all just theorizing, so I don't know what methods work. Rat! Three, four, five! All right, let's, whoa! Okay, so I think if I have at least four hit points, this will work, I hope. Ugh. Just gotta be careful not to get hit too many times, because if I do, then I'm, yep, no, we're trying again. I need at least four, any less than that, and this isn't gonna work, because I have to at least take two hit points on the two sub-bosses, which are the, this stupid balloon is really ruining my runs! Ugh. I mean, it is the only way to get... Retrying again! Ugh, these pink balloons are annoying, but they're the only way I can get the meter charged. Ugh. Okay, blue. There's pink. All right, there it is. One. Ugh! Come on! Okay, restarting. You're Sorry! Right. Just... Ugh, this one's annoying. All right, bounce, 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 bounce. Just gotta, okay. One, two, three, four. Come on! So I at the ledge. Ugh, if we try. Ugh. I can do this. I know I can do this. I have the skills. I hope. One, two, three, four, five. All right, this time I'm good. This is gonna be the one. This is gonna be the run! Whoop, okay. And parry you just for fun. Up there, up there, and whoa, dodge the balloon, dodge trampoline, spikes, and we're good. All right, and over you, because I don't want to deal with your sass and your blue freaking ball up the bell. Okay, I'm gonna do it this time. I'm gonna do it this time. Invincibility! All right. Go, let's go. Don't even think about the platforms. Don't think about the platforms. Good. All right, if I could get a pink balloon, that'd be nice, but no such luck. Maybe another one will spawn? Maybe? Come on. No. Curse my luck. As long as I keep my dodge game up, I am okay. All right. Ugh. All right, I got here with five hit points, so I have a few points to spare. All right, let's move. Up we go, up, up, up. Now comes the tricky part where my dodging really needs to be on its game. Okay, I can do this. I can, whoa, I can do this. Muggs is gonna do it, folks. He's gonna do it. Hopefully he's gonna do it. Ooh. I just need to have one extra point. One extra point that was almost taken from me. All right, that's it. We did it. Yes. Oh, that is some good luck! Oh man, that was close! I thought for sure I was... Well, I can't say the word, but I thought for sure I was done for! Oh, thank goodness! Yeah! P for Perry, baby! And P for Pacifist! Okay, well that's one down, and with that, we're halfway done with the Pacifist Challenge, which means there's only three left! Huh, I should take care of the last one while I'm at it, too. Well, that one's gonna be tricky because, ooh, that one has the the walls with, like, the mouths. Funhouse Frazzle. Let's give it a few tries. If we're not successful, then we'll move on to Wally. All right. Can I get... No, I can't charge the meter that way. Whoa! All right, here we go. Oh, shoot. Whoa, boy. Maybe I need Ghost Ash for this one. No, that wouldn't make sense, would it? 
Ah, this duck is gonna be the end of me. All right, so how am I supposed to dodge the this? This is where I'm concerned. How am I supposed to get through this? All right, so do I have to wait for the mouths to open? Is that what I gotta do? I'm gonna try it. All right. Uh, nope, nope, nope. That didn't work. I have to try at least. All right, here comes the car. All right, and through the ah, oh, wasn't enough time. I had to do it with time to prepare. Okay, so maybe this can work? I don't know. How am I supposed to do this? Alright, ducks are coming and dodge. Get the parry there. Oh, darn it! I was hit by the one on the back end. Ow! Stupid cars! Right, how am I supposed to dodge the freaking face wall thing? This is gonna be very tricky to figure out. Alright, let's go down, go up, ow! Oh, so this is when you have to take damage on too? Oh shoot! These two are not friendly. Hmm. I'd be very careful with how I dodge later on in the level, especially with these stars that shoot in like cross patterns. I like how they rotate like every time, so it's not the same cross. All right. Whoa! Darn rocket! Uh, I don't think I can. No, I wouldn't be able to do it because then the one hit I'd take. Okay, so this one requires me to take damage, too, so I don't think I have to worry about the parry meter too much. I mean, if I ugh, have to take damage in order to get through the wall, I... You know, these two are not fun. Not by a long shot. Like, seriously not fun. I don't like these two at all. Ugh, I'm so used to Ghost Dash that being without it is kind of, like, killer in a way. Right, whoop. Okay, so now we got that done, now we're at the wall. So wherever it opens up, you've got to take damage to get through. Alright, so I've got three hit points, so I've got a chance. A slim chance, but a chance nonetheless. Alright, I can't take any more hits after this one. I gotta- Whoa! Be very- I'm not gonna be able to do it, but I'm gonna at least try. And there went my try. Okay, nope, I'll do this next episode. Ugh, this is gonna be tough. If you guys have suggestions on how to do that, leave them in the comments section. I could really use the help. With that said, let's go to Wally Warbles and at least try to beat this boss in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, Wally. You were the last boss I fought in the original Let's Play, and you're gonna be the last one I fight this time in this particular island, but still, let's do this! Alright. Let's do it, Wally. I'm ready for you this time. Oh, so the birds come out in a pattern? Oh, well, that's new. Oh shoot, I forgot to de-equip the, um, the thing. Well, actually, Ghost Dash won't be really useful in this fight, now that I think about it. Actually, the five hearts will help me in this fight! It means I have more opportunities to succeed. I can do this! All right, I have more of a chance! All right, I can do this, I got this. One, two, come on, baby! All right, let's do this. I can beat you. I've got two extra hit points. I'm not as in trouble. Whoa! I mean, I say that, but then again, this is Wally Warbles. Out of all the Whirly Bird stages, his and Dr. Call's are the worst. Mainly because they both have a lot of different bullets and stuff you have to dodge. Whoa! Ugh. I forgot about this part of the fight. Kind of sad I forgot because, ugh, this is the part that's going to be a tricky one. All right. I can't believe I forgot to de-equip uh, Twin Heart. Although, in all honesty, it might be helpful. Might being the key word here. Can't say for sure it's gonna be helpful, but I'm gonna at least try to use it. All right. Just gotta uh, keep your focus, mugs. Keep your focus. Keep your. I think for the sake of this fight, I'm gonna keep to the regular machine gun, at least for this phase. Once it gets to the other phases, I'll switch over to the bombs. So that way I can do extra damage on, like, his son. Which, that's his son! That's weird! Like, that's seriously weird! Alright, one, two, kaboom! That was a bit delayed, sorry about that. Alright, here come the feathers! Uh, how does he even have that many feathers to spare that he can shoot them like bullets? Seriously! Ugh, ooh! Oh, gosh, Ugh. I remember Kai saying something about this reminding him of a shmup? I don't know what that is, but it sounds difficult. Ooh, ooh. Okay, 
Okay, whoa. Seriously, how many feathers do you have? Like, you should be molting by now by losing that many. Ugh. Okay. All right. Oh, come on! Ugh. Yeah, no, this is the fight that's going to really stress me out. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it's a shame I don't have Kala here to help me out. She really motivated me in the last uh, time I fought Wally. And her motivation actually helped. <laughs> uh, I could really use her help now. Uh, I still think fighting her is going to be the toughest. Oh. Wait, whoa! Whoa! Wait, whoa! Uh, Alright. I'm not going to use it yet. I'm going to wait till the second phase starts and then use it. After the feathers dissipate. Because then I'll have an open target. Whoa. Come on. Go into your next phase already. So the eggshells in this fight have like a... Okay. One, two. Come on. All right. Gotcha. Sucker. All right. Whoa. So the eggshells have a six-way spread or a five-way spread. I should really be using the mini plane more often for dodging. Like, seriously. I've had that option the whole time and I barely use it. It's just I can't really hit him when I'm the mini plane, so that's why I don't use it! Uh, that and the bullets aren't really that hard to dodge. It's more just, you know, the rapidness that they come at you. You know, they come at you really fast, so kind of hard to dodge in that aspect. Okay, it's five-way spread, not six. Six would be weird. All right. Well, not weird, just it would, wouldn't make sense. Well, then again, the way the egg breaks doesn't make sense anyway? Uh, I'm overthinking, sorry. All right. Mini bombs. Okay, so when I'm up close, mini bombs. When I'm from a distance, machine gun. That seems fair. All right. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for the moment. Wait for it. Wait for it. Gotta. Whoa. Okay. I'm not doing too shabby for myself. All right. Machine gun. Dodge feathers. All right. Whoa. Duck and weave. Duck and weave. Duck and weave. And one, two, come on! Oh, that blast radius is wonderful. It takes out anything in this path. All right, Ugh. all right, and smack! At least I have all the parries in, so I can get a better grade at least. That's a plus. All right, and seriously, so many feathers! I should have been paying attention. All right, that. Okay. All right, that's done. Now for his son. Uh, oh boy, he's got more eggs this time. All right, one, two, come on! All right, much better. All right, gotta be really careful. He's got six eggs this time. Whoop! But he never got rid of those parryable bullets. Oh, that's convenient. All right, whoop! Oh, thank goodness for Twin Heart, because if not, I would seriously be in trouble. Right, whoop! Careful, Mugs, you can do this! All right, just gotta be careful. Fire your zapper with its patented parryable bullets. Why you'd keep those equipped when you're fighting a cuphead? I, I have no idea. All right, last phase. Gotta focus, gotta focus, gotta focus. All right, this is where it gets tough. This is where things get really tricky. Gotta be careful. Really careful. All right, one, two, come on. Oh shoot, I don't think it hits. I mean, no! Ah! <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. We're all right. We got close. That's a good thing. All right. Two more tries. Two more tries, and then we'll be done. Maybe at least give it an honest attempt. All right. That. There's mini bombs. Whoa! Dodge the bullets. All right. Bird. Ugh. I remember why I hated this boss fight! Alright. Hasn't gotten me really mad yet, but it's getting there! It's getting there! Uh, oh, I'm starting to sweat. Breaking out in the sweats. Uh, it could just be that it's really hot today, but still, I'm sweating. Probably because I'm stressing from all this! Alright. Alright, machine gun. Dodge the feathers, dodge the feathers, dodge the feathers. Ah, uh, dodge the feathers, I said. All right, one, two, come on. Ah, oh, come on. Just gotta be careful. 
I gotta be careful how I move. Careful how I dodge things in this game. That's the only way. You're gonna win. <sighs> okay. One more. One more try. And if we don't win, we'll come back to it next episode. Promise. But I'm gonna do it one more honest attempt. And if not, well, I'm done. I can't keep saying one more try and then, like, going on to, like, a million different tries. That's really not good. It stresses me out! I, ugh. Alright, lost the twin hearts, so now I'm just down to the regular health. Alright, just gotta keep on dodging. Keep on moving. Oh, there was nothing I could do there. It was right in front of me. I could have done something there. Okay, I'm done. That's it. Nope, I'm done. Well, he seems angry. Um, well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Mugman playing Expert Mode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting us know what he can do to do better in the Wally Warbles fight, as well as what to do for that one level where he has to try and get the pacifist thing. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell and turn on all notifications so you know when Mugman is putting himself through this torture. Seriously, I feel bad for him. Also, be sure to share this video around. I'm sure people are dying to see how far Mugman gets in this one. And with that said, this is Kaiser ending off the episode, and, well, as he says, I'll be seeing ya. Bye bye The results.